Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. This is my first YouTube video back on YouTube. I was on YouTube a little while ago with the previous page. I'll put the link down below. Um, but I kind of wanted to start over fresh with the new channel, hence this brand new channel. And my first video um, is on how to do a wash and go finger coils with OK Naturals mango line. And let me tell you, man, this is the best smelling thing ever. They followed me on Instagram and I like started to look at their products and I was like, oh shoot, like this looks kind of good. Like, and the prices were not that bad. So I was like, let me just try it out. And I did and my hair feels so much better because I've been neglecting my hair lately. So for this tutorial, I'm using the mango stuff. I have the hot oil treatment, which is what I'm gonna do first. The mango mask and then the conditioner plus the shampoo. It's just... <sighs> it smells so good. Just... Ah. I would lick it if I could. I really, really enjoy their products so far. This is what my wash and go looks like with their products. My hair is super soft. Like, really, really soft. And my curls actually look pretty defined. Also because I did finger coils, but they never really look this defined. Usually it's just like a big heaping mess of frizz. If you want to see how I achieve this look with these products, keep on watching. Okay, so first things first, I'm just going to take off my headband that I've been wearing for about two to three weeks because I just don't feel like doing anything with my hair. So this has been my signature look and I, you know, I styled it a couple different ways because I just don't feel like dealing with what's underneath it right now. So this is my hair in its almost natural state. I put a little bit of the mango hair mask in it yesterday because I felt like it was just so, so dry. Because all the, the only thing I've really had in my hair recently has been just conditioner because I've been moving. So really the only thing at my fingertips right now is just regular conditioner that I wash my hair with. So it's been like really, really dry, especially around here, which it usually is, but it's been worse lately. So that's why I'm doing this whole hair revitalizing thing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is a hot oil treatment with this. And I'm just gonna heat up some water in the microwave in a little um, you know, mug thing, and then just stick this in there and then pour it all over my head. So I'm gonna go heat up some water right now. All right, so all I did was just heat up some water in my little Starbucks mug and put the oil right in it, which I'm not exactly sure if you're supposed to do because on the directions, it did say to pour it into a heat protectant container thing and then put it in hot water, but I mean, Hopefully it'll be fine. All right, so I let it set for a couple minutes and it's pretty warm to the touch. So I'm just gonna shake it up, get some of the heat that was at the bottom up to the top. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit in my hand at a time and work through this front section here. I'm gonna add some more onto the scalp. Cause it also said to massage it into your scalp. increase the blood flow and this is something that I should probably do more than once a month <laughs> all right so now I'm gonna put on my little handy dandy plastic bag it's so fashionable I have found that the smaller bags you know that you get at CVS or like Sally's or something works the best like you know instead of having to have that big plastic bag and then have to tie it this one kind of just fits right on top of your head but I also kind of have a small head so it might not work for everybody, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna leave this on for, it said, let's see, the directions say for a quick treatment, 15 to 30 minutes. Regular treatment, 45 to 60. And for deep treatment, overnight. I probably should keep it overnight, but I have things to do today and I need to wash it out. Um, so I'm probably just gonna let it sit in for around 30 minutes, 30 to 45. All right, so I let it set in my hair for 45 minutes. Uh, so now I'm gonna go wash it off and I'm gonna wash my hair as well. And this is what my hair looks like after the oil. It's, wow. 
The middle is actually really soft, which is not a usual occurrence for me. Hey, okay, okay. All right, well now I'm gonna go wash it off and use the shampoo and the conditioner in the bathroom, and I'm gonna take y'all in there as well. Welcome to my bathroom. The first thing I'm gonna do is comb out my hair while the water is running and I still have the oil in. That way it detangles easier and it doesn't hurt as much and I pull out less hair. And then onto shampoo. I'm gonna lather up my hair and then rinse it out with warm water. I find that using warm water first to open up my the shafts of my low porosity hair makes it easier for the conditioner to get in there. And then close the shaft with cold water after the conditioner. Yeah, that was really, really cold. It was terrible, man. Having to wash your hair with cold water just so that the moisture stays in struggles with having low porosity hair. All right, so I just got done showering and it actually feels a lot more moisturized than it usually does right after I get out the shower. So I am present, presently? I am pleasantly surprised and I really enjoy the smell. I mean, oh, it just smells so good. So on to styling because I'm not about to walk out the house like this. So I'm gonna use the hair mask um, and it, since it's like a really, really small jar, and I want to kind of conserve it. I'm not going to do it as a treatment this time. I'm just going to use it as a way to style my hair. So I'm going to combine the... First, I'm going to drop the hair mask. But then I'm going to combine the hair mask with the conditioner and kind of create my own um, twisting cream, my own styling cream with that because this one provides a lot of hold while this one provides a lot of slip. So, and both both of them are conditioning to my hair. So I figured it's kind of a win-win. I've never tried this before, so we're gonna see if it works. I'm gonna take a couple of fingers full of the hair mask and just run it through my hair. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing with the conditioner, but I'm gonna put a little bit more in. So on to styling, I'm going to do some finger coils on my hair. And it's really simple. You just take whatever size section you want, twist it around your finger like I'm doing, and pull down. And you can twist it more times and have tighter curls in smaller sections or you can do bigger sections and twist it less times and have looser curls. I'm kind of just going for the same kind of curl definition that I already have, just more defined. So they're kind of smaller curls but they're not very tight. So I'm just working with really small sections here in the back and I'm just going to do the same thing all over my hair. So now they're all done, and I'm just gonna wait for it to dry. It's probably gonna take an hour and a half. I'm just gonna wait for it to completely dry and then come back. All right, so I just got done detangling um, my finger coils. I was going to do the audio while I was while I was actually doing it, but I was so rudely interrupted, uh, so I couldn't exactly talk during it. But 
Anyway, you saw me do it on camera. I just took every little finger coil and just let it part itself naturally and then pull away. And I used the oil on my fingers while doing so so that it wouldn't make my hair frizzy. And then I'm just gonna take my pick and pick out the roots. I think it looks really cute actually. I really kind of like it. This was my first finger coils done on my short hair. So I have to say I, I kind of like this. I kind of like it and my hair feels so, so freaking soft from these products. Thank you so much for watching my first video back on YouTube. If you want to go check out my previous site, you might not, the quality is not that great, but you can go over there and look at some of the other looks that I've done. Um, and I'll put that um, on the links down below with along with everything for the products and whatnot that I used. So thanks so much and tune in next time.